What's up guys, welcome to your sixth tutorial in Pi Game. And in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw shapes. Now this is going to be an incredibly simple tutorial. So if you finally made it here through suffering for the last couple of tutorials, uh, you're in for a real treat. So the only thing um, all this is, this is just from the last tutorial. I pretty much deleted everything uh, except the screen object right here. All of this is just the housekeeping stuff. So let me show you guys what I got already and what the screen is is pretty much a basic black screen that we got so now let's go ahead and draw some shapes to it so let me give you guys a little uh, tidbit of information before you draw shapes before you draw a shape on the screen what you need to do is do something called lock the screen so as you see our display we stored in a variable called screen and now what we need to do is lock it so here's what you need to do to lock it put screen or whatever you named yours dot lock and what this does is lock your screen and what locking your screen means is nothing can happen on the screen until your shape finishes drawing and this is so when you start drawing your shape then nothing else can interfere with you until you're done and when you're done you probably want to unlock your screen so other stuff can happen so let's go ahead and well we can go ahead and unlock it now screen dot unlock in the middle and now in the middle of this between lock and unlock we wanna begin drawing our shape let me move that up so here's how you draw a shape the draw module in Pi game has a bunch of built-in different shapes that you can draw the most basic one is a rectangle so in your Pi game module there's a sub-module called draw and in that there's a built-in function called rectangle or R-E-C-T it's not rectangle I guess it's rect and in this built-in function all you have to do is give it a bunch of parameters and it draws a rectangle on the screen for you the first parameter it takes is what you want to draw your rectangle on and of course we want to draw it right on our display since it's the only thing we got so let's go ahead and write screen so screen the next parameter it takes is what color do you want your rectangle to be and let's just pick a random color and again this is a RGB value so let's give it a red value of like 140 um, a green value of 240 and a blue value of like I don't know 130 or something uh, don't use any decimal points for this and if you this again boo, 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 this is a RGB value so all the values have to be between uh, 0 and 255 if you write these all 0 it's gonna be black 255 for all it's gonna be white anything in between it's gonna be a cool color um if you want a specific color go look it up on like a table on Google or something now the last parameter it takes is what object you want to draw and put rect for this and now inside your rect put two parameters the first one is the position of your rectangle so where do we want the top left of our rectangle to be let's just put it at a hundred a hundred and this means it's going to be a hundred down and a hundred across so that's what the position is going to be the next parameter it takes in rect is what size do you want it to be well let's say we want our rectangle to be how wide do we want it to be um let's see 130 wide by how tall uh let's see like 170 tall so let me go ahead and run this and make sure i don't have any errors and then i'll describe one last time what we just did we drew a rectangle on our screen that was green evidently and this is a hundred across and a hundred down and the size is, oh, I don't know, I forgot what it is already. Um, the size is 130 by 170. So again, let me try to, there we go. The first thing we did is lock the screen. And this means, all right, lock the screen because we're about to draw something and we don't want anyone else messing with us while we do this. And next, we're going to draw, draw a rectangle using this built-in rect function. We want to draw it to the screen. We want it to be this color and we want to draw a rectangle object that's going to be positioned at 100 100 and it's going to be this big 
and then when you're done with all that you can go ahead and unlock it for us so we can do the rest of our game so that is your basics on how to draw a rectangle um again not much to it really simple a lot easier than our other tutorials so um in our next tutorial i'm going to show you how to draw other cool shapes uh using different techniques so uh don't forget to watch it's going to be awesome so again, thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. What's up guys, welcome to your 7th Pi Game tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to draw polygons. Now a polygon, if you don't know, is just pretty much a multi-sided shape. It could have like a, any number of shapes you want. I mean any number of sides you want so in this tutorial I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to draw it so the first thing we need to do is pretty much have a list of points and what Pygame is gonna do is take all of these points and pretty much connect the dots and everywhere you give a point it's gonna draw a side from point to point from list to list and it's gonna end up with a shape depending on how many points you give it so let's go ahead and make a list of points right now and I'm gonna name mine points and what we need to set it equal to is a list so in your square bracket you need to give it as many number of items as you want um, and these are gonna be the coordinates for each point so the first coordinate I'm gonna put it like um, 20 uh, 120 the next coordinate I'm going to put at 140 by 140, which should be to the right more and lower more. And the last coordinate, let me put at the top, uh, so 110 over and 30 down. So now that we got our three points, these are three points. So of course, it's going to be three sided shape, which is going to be um, a triangle. The next thing we're going to need to do is give it a color. And I'm just gonna, you'll see why this is a lot simpler this way. So I'm just gonna make mine, um, I believe yellow is 255, 255, 0. So now that we have points and a color, we can go ahead and create our shape of our polygon. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And first thing we should do is lock the screen. Um, after this, let's go ahead and create our shape. Pi game module there's a draw and this is polygon uh, this is the polygon built-in method or function the first parameter it takes is what you want to draw it on and this is screen the next parameter it takes is the color and of course you can do to this and then this and then this but of course we have this handy little color variable that we can use just as easy so let's use color right there and then after this the third parameter it takes is that list of points but fortunately we already have a list of points in that points variable up there so we don't need to uh, have a really confusing um, function so this is just a different way where you can pass variables into these parameters and it'll use that and it'll just makes it look a lot nicer so after this let's go ahead and unlock the screen screen with a unlock function and now we should be good to go so I'm going to go ahead and run this module save it and let's go ahead and as you can see we have our nice triangle right here with the first coordinate uh, I, don't, I can't even remember what they are at 20 across 120 down the second point is 140 across 140 down right here and the third point which is right here is 110 across and 30 down so that is how you get those three points and make up this nice polygon shape and this is a simple triangle right here but you can have yours um, any number of points you want if you added eight points to it then it would be an octagon so on and so on so that's your quick tutorial on how to make simple polygons or gongs simple polygons with pi game so um, in the next tutorial I'm probably going to show you guys another shape or how to do it in a different kind of way so thank you guys for watching and uh, Soon enough, we'll be putting these shapes to use to make a sweet game. But again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next tutorial.